I'm Jerry Kokesh. Welcome to BMW IBU World Cup Biathlon 2 here in Hochfilzen, Austria. After the first week in Ostersen, conditions have changed dramatically. We've gone from real winter to a mix of winter and spring here. Just enough snow to cover the tracks. Warm, sunny skies now. It's going to be a very interesting week. We'll see that if Kaisa can win another race, if Sukalova can win again, and maybe by the end of the weekend we'll find out who is the best relay team in the World Cup circuit this year. What's the biggest challenge for a team when you come to conditions like this after having real nice winter conditions now you have totally different? Oh, maybe it's more like a mentally, mentally thing. Shooting here is always a challenge it seems like. Is it because of the wind or is it because of this hard approach? Both, I think. At the moment it's quite good conditions actually, but I think it's a combination of those two. And as usual on race day it won't be so easy? No. <laughs> Final question. Kai says the season goes on, does she only get better? I hope so. It was a tough start last week in, in Östersund and I, I hope that she's really getting better. Hope Filson. What do what can we expect here under these conditions? It's it's hard to say what the weather will be tomorrow. It's 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 supposed to be nice, but really warm, so it could be a really big advantage on the first group, um, and then the disadvantage on the last one. And but um, still, with no wind, uh, we can just expect a lot of zeros and uh, really really brutal fast running because the course it's it's it's, it's icy and it's it's really fast. Tough weekend ahead. Yeah, three races in a row. Um, I don't think that there's a coach or athlete who likes three races in a row, so we just have to survive till the relay and then the last day to give our best. If Kaisa and Gabriella are the women to watch, then there's really only one man to watch, and that's Martin Foucault, who won two competitions last week. Unquestionably, is the fastest skier at this moment. Here in Hochfilzen, he's going to have a tough challenge from Simon Schemp of Germany, Johannes Bu of Norway, and a long list of other men who could easily jump into first place. Sunday are the relays, closing these competitions, always a tough battle, watch the Austrians. It's going to be three days of fantastic competitions here in sunny Hochfeldsen.